Welcome to AKS Design Studio. I'm Kelly. I'm a Squarespace website designer and brand strategist for people-centric entrepreneurs. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a blog template in Squarespace. Now, I hate to say it, but there's one downside to Squarespace, and that is that their blogs don't come with a sidebar. And that's a downside because there's certain information that you should share in every blog post that will guide your visitors to where you want them to go after they finish reading your blog post. Now, this is going to be the same thing for podcasts as well, because a podcast page is the exact same as a blog page. So you can do this whether you're creating a blog or a podcast. It's the exact same thing. So what you're going to want to have on every blog page blog post is this information. Now, it can vary. You can do what you want, but this is what I recommend. A one sentence bio with your photo, a link to your main service offering, a summary block, a blog summary block with two to four of the most recent blog posts, a blog archive drop down menu, a search bar so visitors can search based on keywords for other blog posts or anything on your website. If you have a newsletter, you'll want the newsletter sign up form. And finally, social links. So, what we're going to do is come in here and click on the plus sign and just create a new blog post. We're going to title it Template. Now, I'm going to immediately add several spacers because I know that I'm going to be creating a couple of columns. And when you have columns, you can't create a single full screen column underneath it unless you already have a single full screen column already there. But see there, I dragged a spacer next to another spacer, and I created two columns. So perfect. That was a really easy way to create two columns. And that's easier to do than to try it with two images, which is what I'm going to end up doing, because the images are bigger and you can end up having them want to go across the whole side, which is not what you want. Then you have to start over. So when you use just the two small spacers, it's a lot easier to get them right next to each other. Okay, so the first thing we're going to add is the single sentence bio and photo. So let's do that right here. Add an image. Already have one in here. This one that's 250 by 250 pixels. It's going to be small. See there? Now, I don't want it like this. I could put the description right here, but I want to do it as a card right here under design. And they're all, come on, scroll up. They're all of these different options for how you can show an image. We're going to do card. Let's come over, grab the text. Paste it there, get rid of that, get rid of that space, and there we go. That looks nice. Okay, now here, I'm going to do it there. This is going to be for our main service. This one is 250 by 250. We're also going to set it up. 
as a card. And by the way, we can have these on the image on the left, the image on the right. We could keep it original or in a certain shape. See, you should, well, I'll do it on that left so you can see as a circle. This one needs to be a square. Okay, let's go get this text. Copy. Bring it over here. Paste. Okay, that looks good. And then see, if we had the two images, one on top of the other, it would take up too much vertical space. This way, it takes up less real estate. I'm going to leave these two spacers here so that there's, there's a little space between this and what's going to come next, which is a blog summary block. So we're going to put the blog summary block between the two spacers. That's down here with summary. We select the page, blog obviously, back, go to design, and pick how many items we want to display. It's set to 10. I want just four, even though we have only one blog post right now. So what's automatically showing is the thumbnail, the title, and an excerpt. I don't want an excerpt because that's just going to be too much. We definitely want the thumbnail and we definitely want a title, even though the title is in the thumbnail. So why do we want the separate written title? Because some people just has, have an easier time reading the title on its own. And also there are people with accessibility issues, like they may be seeing impaired and they use a reader to read a website aloud to them. And if the image doesn't have an image alt text with it, then there's nothing to be read aloud from the image. So we're going to leave the title on. In fact, just this is an aside, but let me show you real quick the image alt text. So here, I should write image alt text right here, and I'll call it Squarespace website design in two weeks. And for the photo of me, edit image alt text, Angela Kelly Smith. All right, so now when someone's reader reads that to them, they'll have um, text to read for the image. Okay, so we have the summary block. Blog archive drop down menu. Let's add that directly underneath this. That's down here. Archive. We do not want it looking like that. We're clicking blog, and we still don't want it looking like this. This is click on display. That's an index. That's what a list is. As the blog grows, that would end up showing every single month. We don't want that either. We want drop down. We can change what the menu reads. Right now it reads archive, that's fine with me. Group by, month, year, author, category, tag, I like month. And show group count, that means it will show there's only one for November, that's fine. We're gonna leave that. Next, we want a search bar. So I'll put that right after. I never remember where search is, so I'm going to search for search in the search bar. There we go. Now, to take up less real estate, let's just put that side by side. So we've got the search bar and the archive right next to each other. I wish you would close, but oh well. And if we have a newsletter, we're going to put a newsletter sign up form. Do that right here. And that fills in automatically. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to show you how to do it because that's not the purpose of this. Oh, I forgot something right here. 
how to start a Squarespace website. I mean, the blog summary block. We need to tell people what this is from the blog. I want that text bigger. Let's try heading four. Let's see what three looks like. That's better. Heading three. Okay, and finally, we want our social links down here. That is right here on the right. And these are just set up for Squarespace. That's fine. Okay. That looks like it's part of the block, but um, we could add a space with there or not. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So that's what this looks like. In on a mobile device, these two images and text are going to show up vertically. Each blog post will show up vertically. The search and the archive will show up vertically. You get the idea. Okay, so we've created the template. Click Save. Do not click Publish or Schedule. It needs to be saved as a draft. That's very important. So now we have the template. How do you use it? When you have a blog post that you're going to create, hover over the three dots, click on them, and click Duplicate. Now we have the exact same thing that those images aren't showing up, they will. Then click Edit. I have the first part of a real blog post pasted here. Why is it important to identify your ideal client? You're going to come in here. Go ahead and paste it so I'm not thinking about it. Okay. You're going to change the title. Why is it important to identify your ideal client? Okay. And you see all of our stuff is there, ready to go. This is red because we haven't paid for the email marketing campaign service on Squarespace. And we didn't have to create all of these items again. We'll never have to create them again because we have the template. Done. We are going to just save this because we haven't done all of the settings here for the blog post, which we're not going to do right now because I've already done that in another post called How to Set Up a Blog in Squarespace. That's it. That is how to create a blog template in Squarespace. And remember, if you have a podcast, it's the exact same thing. And instead of putting a blog summary block here, you would put a, a podcast summary block. Instead of a blog archive, you would have a podcast archive. The search bar would be the same. Everything else would be the same. If you are a content creator, I don't know why those are, there are the images. If you're a content creator and don't have any services, then obviously you wouldn't have this. You would have more content on here. So it's it's totally up to you as to what information you put in the template. These are my recommendations for service providers. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me and good luck with your blog. I hope it goes great. See you next time at AKS Design Studio.